You gotta have air pressure on your line for you to be able for it to slide, okay? Every one of these holes is 500 pounds, okay? So basically, once once I do this, and I gotta slide my tandems, depending on, if I'm right, I go to weight scale, the woman tell me I'm okay. She'll tell me you gotta slide. So just say she tell me you are five, you are a thousand pounds over on your drive. So my drives are the tires right there, okay? okay? So that means I need to take weight off the tires. So that means I need to push this trailer backwards so the trailer does like this. Okay, so what I would do, I would pull this pin. See this pin right here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See how them, how them things went in? Mm -hmm. A little peg. Yeah. All right. So what I would do, if I need to slide 500, 1,000 pounds, just two holes. So what I do, I need to pull my trailer forward. I mean, I, yeah, I need to take it off, so I need to push my trailer back. Okay? So in order for me to push my trailer back, that means that you got to go back there. So what I do, I take this pin, come two holes back. One, two. I sit it there, okay? Oh. That's what you said. I will get inside my truck. Do not match your trailer brake, which is the red button. You match the yellow yeah. button, which unlocks your tractor brakes. Mm -hmm. So these wheels will stay still. You, that's why you do not want to push the red button. And when you get in there, you match the yellow one and you push back. When I push back, this thing right here is going to hit this right here. It's going to stop. Then I take my red and yellow airline, push it in and out once or twice. Then I push it back, the yellow one back in, and I pull forward and push back when it's going to lock, okay? But when I get in the truck, all I'm going to do is push in my yellow airline, put it in reverse, and push my trailer back. But these wheels are going to stay still. These wheels are not going to move, okay? Yes. So that's how you shift weight. And like these things right here, these are bridge logs. <clears throat> to me, to be honest, if you always set your trailer on 41.6, you would never be out of, out of law. But see, like my trailer is light. It's only 27,000 27, pounds. I carry up to like 45 to 50,000. So what I do is I can set it on 41.6. I know I'm good. As long as my little gauge in my truck is not over 60, you know you're good. So that's all I do. I slide it back or whatever. But you never want to push your back axle above 4160. Your back axle is above 4160. You're out of bridge law. And when a man and the man right up beside you see you, he's gonna pull you over. He's probably gonna inspect you. So what I'm finna do now is I'm gonna get in the truck, push in the yellow tractor brake, and I'm gonna push backwards, okay? Stop or don't shoot out. Nah, I don't shoot out. Oh, you see how they didn't pop? You see how they pop back out? Just because I matched the red and the yellow in, you can lock them from the inside. And once I pull four, I make sure they lock. So, so now I'm good to go. But like I said, I can push them all the way back to 416, and now I know I'm legal. You see what I'm saying? Right. You see, I could have went forward, I could have, I could have pulled forward or went back. But you know, you got to stay under that 416. You see what I'm saying? But that's what you got to do. It's all about sliding your way. Each one of these holes is 500. You see how they work? That's how you that's how you set your your, your um thing up and that's everything. <laughs> 